Oh, this other product I love is Umami Peach Mustarda. <laughs> um, I love to make mustardas at the restaurant, and this is a really good product, so I loved it. Um, very simple, too. So, this is guanciale, and it's pork jowls. And they've been cured, though, so beautiful. And when you buy guanciale, go to your good butcher, or maybe a good cheese shop has guanciale, too, and get it shaved for you. Have them shave it for you, paper thin. Um, because I really feel like slicing with your knife on a sandwich isn't possible. Um, you could use a mandolin if it's really sharp, but I still think the fat is too slippery. Just have your butcher do it for you. Um, that's what I would do at home. Um, so, we have our guanciale and we have it sliced nice and thin. And then we have some beautiful French baguette that I've cut. I'm going to put these in the oven to get warm. And then I'm going to shave a little bit of fennel. And I like to take the core out of the fennel here. Oops, pop right out of me. But now you have the entire core out of the fennel. But the fennel's still on one piece, so now you can slice it really easily on your mandolin or on your slicer. And I think that's nice. And that way, shave fennel in a salad or a sandwich. Super nice, really easy. Japanese mandolin, something I always have at home. Just take some beautiful fresh arugula. And I'm gonna take my shaved fennel, and I've made some over here too. Shaved fennel. And I am gonna dress it with a little squeeze of lemon juice and a touch of extra virgin olive oil. I just have to have it here. Doesn't need a lot of dressing. Just lightly dressed. Of course, a little salt. And maybe a touch of pepper. Arugula is peppery, so you want to be careful with pepper and arugula, I think. Just so you know how it is. So we have a nice little salad made up there. I have some goat cheese. And our mustard. So let's make this on the sandwich. So our bread's warm. And we have it sliced through. I'm gonna make two sandwiches here because I think somebody else wants one too. And we're gonna put this peach mustarda down on the bottom of the sandwich. And I put it enough on there. We're not putting mayonnaise or anything on the sandwich. So this mustarda is really the sauce, the dressing. So maybe a little bit more, do you think? And we're gonna put the shaved guanciale down. And it seems on the recipe like you're like, oh, three ounces of guanciale for all four sandwiches. You know, like that's not even ounce per, but guanciale has a strong flavor and it's delicious and you don't need a lot of it. It's not like a lunch deli meat, you know, you just don't need a lot of it. And I like to put a little on the top and a little on the bottom. You know, that's kind of silly, but that's how I like to do it. And then I like to put the goat cheese in the middle. So this nice salad on here. And the fennel's nice. Not only does it taste delicious, it adds a nice crunch to your sandwich. And then sprinkle your goat cheese on. And little nice sized bites so you don't get too much goat cheese at once either. And then like I said, I'll put a few more pieces of the guanciale on top. And that's just something I do, so you don't have to put the guanciale in two different places. But sometimes I think you get a sandwich and all the meat squishes on the bottom together. And I just am a crazy sandwich lover. Maybe I'll give this a little slice down there. Oops, I didn't cut it all the way through. And we're gonna all have sandwiches, so we're making extra of these today. So there we go, there's some awesome sandwiches with the peach mustard.